Hey, how's it going? This is a couple trips from around Coromandel with some mates where we hit some of the inshore islands in the peak of summer. We'd had some great weather, but there had been some swell rolling in which had murked up the whole inshore and you can see it on the bar here. So we weren't quite sure what the fizz was going to be like once we got out to shoot. Once we arrived, we were really surprised and we agreed with probably 15 metres first. <laughs> well, it's probably like 5 metres this. My goal for the summer was to find my first boarfish and I'd been checking the weed lines over the summer as this is where you find them and this particular weed line was very fishy. The fizz was so good you could just spot snapper crews on the weed line. And this was a little panny that was a bit dozy. Not the first of the trip, there was plenty of big snapper that are very, very dozy. And I couldn't quite get the shot away on this guy. And like clockwork, I thought I was in the right place and I see the very unique silhouette of a boarfish sitting down here on the sand. I decide to swim straight down and get as close as I can to it before taking the shot. I'm just absolutely stoked to find my first boarfish. And here's Zach, probably wishing that he found this fish first. But pretty cool fish to finally tick off the bucket list. I decided to chuck the fish on Zach's float as I was running a real gun, but there was an aggro bronzy on um, Zach's flasher that was hanging from his float, so I decided that probably wasn't the best idea and to take it back to the boat. caught back up to Zach and decided to shoot a goat fish for Burley. Chunking in clear open water is a really interactive way to hunt snapper. The snapper started to gather on the sand here eating the chunks that fell. Soon enough some big snapper had turned up. Zach went down and shot at John Dory that had come into the commotion. We needed to keep chunking, and luckily there was this unlimited sashimi train that we could keep plucking from. This chum turned into a huge ball of snapper on the floor and there were some big models but with the clear viz they could see you and we could see them so it wasn't quite going to work out. I tried lots of methods but I couldn't quite get onto the bigger snapper. You can see this one up on the top right here, um, he's about 15 pound but all I could manage was the small penny. Next trip was back out to shoe with Zach. Fizz wasn't as good as last time. Epic fizz. Like last time, there's a lot of snapping milling around, so we decided to chunk again. Doing long breath holds on the bottom, there was a lot of snapper that were pushing in, but nothing that was quite the size that I wanted. My camera died pretty early into the dive but the kingfish pushed into the commotion and I got a good shot on it. This dive was rather uneventful in terms of the footage that we got. I had shot a nice kingfish and Zach had shot a nice snapper, but nothing really on film. But the next trip was out to the Outer Islands, which is just a crazy place.
The fizz was crazy out here, and we were all fizzing to get in. See in there, guys. If you've dived with me before, you know I'm always the first one in. The fish slough here was straight away visible. I had coeys following me from the boat, and just everywhere on this place had so much life. There's baby putter fish, there's baby little sprats I've never seen before, and just a huge amount of weed and nice guts like this one. It's just really, really cool. Here I thought I saw my first snapper, but it's actually just a blue mochi parked up. Not a species you normally find up here in the North Island and I've actually never shot one before but seeing as I'm out here at the Outer Islands I've got lots of other species to pick from so I'll let this guy swim by This eagle ray is just another example of the abundance of marine life out here Although in this abundance is the wrasse, and I think they blew my snoop here. I wasn't really finding a lot of snoop, so decided to shoot one of these drummer, which have a huge amount of oil in their flesh and are great for burley. I dropped the drummer on the floor and then kept moving. I then came back to it later on after not finding much, and found a small snapper sitting on it. It's not much, but I wasn't going to come back with nothing. While I was dealing with the snapper, I noticed there was some bigger snappers sort of wandering out wide. I was stuck between these two rocks and I was getting washed around, but these two snapper were so intrigued by the drummer, I could just watch them. I finally pushed out and I missed. After going back and meeting up with the others, they had pulled out this huge backless crayfish. An absolute dinosaur of the sea. We then proceeded to change spot in hope of finding some boarfish. This is Zach's footage because my camera had already died. And down here we found two boarfish paired up, which is how you normally find them. It's quite convenient if you want to score yourself too. Zach dives straight away as he sees them, and I think he runs out of breath. It takes a nice long shot, but smashes the fish. I see the second bullfish take off, so I'm straight down to chase it. But what I really should have done is stayed on the surface and waited for Zach to come up. Because on these deeper dives, we're diving 20 meters here, you've got to keep an eye on your buddies. I had surfaced and we both had four fish each and later on a third one moved directly underneath us and Zach scored a third but he shot it on my gun and my gun's a real gun so he didn't know how to undo the drag and left my gun down there with the fish attached which was just lovely and I actually had to go get it but what an amazing trip we shot some really cool species in some ultra clear water The next trip was a beautiful morning and we headed out to Shu. It was actually quite a rough ride out across the bar and I don't have that much experience with the bar but Adrian said that that was probably the worst he'd been on in a long time. This obviously contributed to the visibility and we didn't have very good viz. But Luckily, this weed line's always normally quite fishy, and first dive I found a John Dory. They're always welcome to the bag. But like me, I always put a shit shot into John Dory. Mm -hmm. This guy's takes off, mm. and I'm pretty scared of losing him. I gently pulled him up and got a grab on him, securing the first fish. We weren't finding much from there on, so Adrian chummed a carway that he had shot. I dove below the chum and found a snapper lying on the weed ledge, but he 
he took off and that's pretty much how the rest of the dive went was finding snapper but not getting close enough and that's a wrap guys i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did making it and hopefully i'll see you soon for some more adventures